Hey Miss Gia's class, welcome to another math video for today, Monday, April 20th. Okay, so before we were working on um, addition number sentences. That's not right. Addition word problems. That's what we were working on. Oh my goodness. One second, let me wake my brain up. Okay, addition word problems. So, now we are going to work on using subtraction to make an addition number sentence. What? But subtraction and addition are different. They are different, but remember our pyramids for the number families? Addition and subtraction are in the same family. So we can use addition to solve subtraction number sentences, and we can use subtraction to solve addition number sentences. I'm sure this is very confusing, guys, but listen, I'm going to show you some examples. Don't worry, okay? I hope that by the end of this video, it will be a little easier to understand. And then we're going to talk about it in Zoom tomorrow, of course. So if you're like, ah, Miss Gia, I'm so confused, it's okay. Don't panic. We'll talk about it tomorrow too, okay? So let's get started. The first thing you need to know are what we call the different parts of an addition number sentence. So remember, this is our number sentence. 1 plus 2 equals 3. But these numbers and this number have names. We call them the different parts of the sentence. So these two numbers are the are the add-ins the add-ins, and this number is the sum or the total. Remember that word, total, from our word problems? That means, when we're talking about, the final number in the group. So the add-ins are these two numbers. Whatever numbers you are adding together are add-ins, and this number is the sum or the total. There's two names for that one. So today, we're going to use subtraction to help us when we are missing an addend. Ah. So sometimes you're going to see number sentences. You will see number sentences that look like this, where this number or this number, one of these, is missing. <gasps> dun dun dun! How do we know what number goes here? Well, in this sentence, it's very simple. We know that 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. That's, you know, it's first, first year math. You guys got this. But what if the numbers are a little bigger? Hmm. Let's see, shall we? So, let's put a sentence where one of our add-ins is missing. For example, um, okay, so 11 plus what is equal to 18? So if you know the number already, that's great, but what happens if you don't know the number? Well, we can use a number line. Yeah, you guys know how to do a number line, right? We have 11, we have 18, and we have to put all the numbers in between. 14, 15, 16, 17, and then we count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we know that this is 7. So that's one way if you use a number line, but you can also use subtraction. What? Pfft, my mind is blown. Here we go. Let me show you. So, we have a question mark here. What are we going to subtract? Well, we know that 18, in this problem, 18 is made of two different parts. It's made of an 11 and this other part that we are missing. 
because there's two add-ins. So we know there are two groups that we put together to make 18. So, if we want to find out this group, we can take away or subtract 11 from 18. And what's left is this group. So, we can do 18 minus 11 is equal to, and this number is going to be the same as this number. What is 18 minus 11? Well, let's see. 8 minus 1 is 7, and 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, so we know that this number is 7, which means that the other group is also 7, which means that this number is 7. Just like when we used our number line. Except instead of going forward, counting up, we count back. Or we count down. Let's do another problem. How about... Let's go a little bigger. A bigger number. Um, so... 22 plus what is equal to... 37. 22 plus what is equal to 37? Hmm. We could make a number line and count all of our hops. Or, let's try with subtraction. So, 37 minus 22 is equal to, and this number is going to be what we put there. Because remember, 37 is made of 22 plus something else. So if we take away 22, we know what the other part is. So I'm going to do stacked subtraction. For me, that's easier. So 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. And 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So therefore... We know that 37 minus 22 is equal to 15, which means that 22 plus 15 is equal to 37. And so if we made a number family triangle with these numbers, we would put 37 up here because it's the biggest and then our two other numbers down at the bottom. So see, guys, it's not really new math that you're learning right now. It's just a different way to look at the math that you know. Okay, let's do another one. This time, I want you to do it on your own, and then we will check it together. So right now, I will give you a number sentence. You do it alone, and then we check together. Got it? Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's do... Alright. 46 plus what is equal to 88? Ooh, Miss G is throwing some big numbers in there. But it's okay. You guys got this. Just remember what we did. Make a subtraction sentence. Do the subtraction. And then write your answer. You can do it, and then we'll check in. I'll give you guys about a minute. Okay, how are you guys doing? If you need more time, pause the video. That's okay. If you're ready, let's go. So, what is our subtraction sentence? We want to take the biggest number and put it at the beginning, right? So, 88. And then what do we subtract? What do we take away? We take away 46. And 
that's equal to something. And this number is the same. So let's do, I'm going to do my stacked subtraction. You can do whatever you need to. So let's see, 8 minus 6 is 2, 8 minus 4 is 4, so I know that 88 minus 46 is equal to 42, which means that 46 plus 42 is equal to 88. Did you get 42 as your answer? Let's make our triangle for our fact family for this problem. We have 88 up here, 46, and 42. So these are just like the sentences. Remember we made those sentences last week in Zoom? We're just using the sentences to help us understand which addend is missing. So again, guys, this isn't new. This is just different, but it's something you already know. Okay? So, if you're confused, please don't panic. It's okay. You have some worksheet practices for this in your activities for Monday. And we're going to check how you understand it tomorrow in Zoom. And please, if you have any questions, bring them to Zoom class tomorrow. Okay? Alright guys, that was your math video for today. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay in touch, and see you tomorrow. Bye!